Welcome to Eat Right New Hampshire. I'm Christine Lauer, a registered and licensed dietitian and a member of the New Hampshire Dietetic Association. Today we have an excellent show plan for you. We will translate the USDA food guide pyramid into real food choices. It will be very visual showing you what a day of healthy eating looks like. So whether you already use the pyramid guidelines or you're new to the guidelines, we'll make it fun and easy for you on today's show. Now I'd like to introduce you to my guest today, Erica Mumford. Hello everyone, my name is Erica Mumford. I'm also a registered and licensed dietitian with Health Compass. We will both show you what a day of healthy, enjoyable eating looks like. Thanks Chris. I'm excited to show the how-to of eating and meal planning using the Food Guide Pyramid. So let's, let's get, get started. started. The first thing I'd like to do is explain, start explaining the pyramid. So first off, this is the USDA Food Guide Pyramid. It came out in 2005 and the guidelines are actually fabulous. But most people aren't, we find that most people aren't using them, so that's why we chose the topic today. When you look at this pyramid, you can see the orange section, which represents grains, starches, cereals, pastas, rice, etc. Those types of food products. And what you recommend every day is for most of us to get between four and eight servings of grain and you want to make at least half of those whole grains which we will talk about today. The serving sizes though are one half cup so it's not as overwhelming as you think, one ounce and one slice. The next group on the pyramid is going to be the green group. Those are your vegetables and what you want to do is vary your vegetables, which we will show you how to do today. And the vegetables are going to be two and a half cups a day. That's what they're looking for, or five servings approximately. And a serving is one half cup. The other group is going to be the fruit group. And in the fruits, what you want again is a variety of fruits, but we'll show you how to make that easy. The servings of fruits, you want at least two cups. So what that means is three to four servings. And three to four servings would are each one half cup. So that's how it comes out to one and a half to two cups a day. And I'm going to have Erica take you through the final three groups on the pyramid. Moving on within the food guide pyramid, the next line is this skinny little bar that represents the healthy fats group. You want to know the limits on fat, sodium, and sugars, and you want to try to make the most of your fat choices, trying to choose mostly from plant-based fats that are soft or liquid at room temperature and limit processed fats such as trans fats, otherwise known as hydrogenated oil, saturated fats mostly coming from meat-based sources or animal sources, and trying to choose foods like nuts and oils. The next group is the milk group that represents this blue band here. You want to try to go low fat or fat free when you're choosing your milk group which represents a cup of milk, a cup of yogurt, or about an ounce of cheese which is about the size of four dice. So three servings of milk or dairy products every day. If you're lactose intolerant you can choose lactose free products as well. The last food guide food group within the food guide pyramid is the meats and beans. You want to go lean with your sources of protein, such as low-fat poultry. You want to be mindful of how you cook it, bake, broil it. Uh, at the most, you want to maybe have somewhere around five and a half ounces a day on average. And now we're going to try to translate all the elements of the Healthy Food Guide Pyramid into real life eating. To begin with, Chris is going to start off with breakfast. Welcome Thank back, you. Chris. Certainly. Breakfast is one of my favorite meals of the day, especially since I haven't eaten for 10 or 12 hours when I wake up in the morning. So I make certain to always start with a healthy breakfast. And this is where you can start incorporating the grain group into your day of eating, as well as fruit and dairy. So what I always start out with is a bowl of cereal, something like this, usually something with very high fiber, over five grams of fiber per serving, and I might add a half a cup of sliced bananas, sliced bananas and five grams of fiber and two and a half grams of fiber in every half cup of fruit. The other choice might be a hot cereal like oatmeal, and oatmeal is always easy. 
you, it's preferably you want to use the five minute oats or the rolled oats or maybe something like steel cut oats, but use the plain oats because you can do so much with the plain oats. Here I've added a tablespoon or two of dried raisins to this. And the other thing is rather than a lot of sweetener or already sweetened oatmeal, you can use cinnamon and you could actually use perhaps a teaspoon of brown sugar and that would be really well. Sometimes you train your palate and you actually don't like oatmeal sweet after a while. The other thing you could add to the oatmeal to get some healthy fats in here would be almonds or nuts. And also, these are items called flaxseed, which are loaded with omega-3 fatty acids. You can throw them in a coffee mill, grind them up, or already buy them ground, and throw another tablespoon in there. What you're really doing is you're ramping up the nutrition in that breakfast. Or you could put a half a cup of blueberries, or you could put even strawberries on your cereal. What I have here is an alternative choice for people that might like to have some eggs every once in a while in the morning. So I would have a slice of toast, and perhaps an egg on that or two toast with two eggs but probably I wouldn't go over two eggs maybe four or five eggs a total in a week but it gives you some protein in order to balance that out you do need some fruit don't start your breakfast without great nutrition add that fruit in there because you won't be able to get enough fruit throughout the day if you don't do that um, in addition if you're in a hurry and you wanted to make a smoothie you could use yogurt or milk and you could put in with that you could put some berries you could put a banana you could put some protein powder in there so you want to make that shake nutritious you don't just want something um, uh, like a chocolate milk or something like that to start your day out with and when i'm using juice when you're drinking juice you want to make sure that the juice is limited so the juice should be about a half a cup but you could also add a half a cup of carrot juice or you could mix it and then you really ramp up the nutrition as well because this would provide 270 percent this carrot juice of your daily vitamin a needs in the form of beta carotene and this would be 120 percent of your daily vitamin c needs so those are choices i do want to show you what an adult muffin looks like however this is an adult muffin folks it doesn't look much like what the muffins that most of us are buying but this is the adult size muffin Anything more than this adds a lot of extra calories to us. So the muffin, maybe you want to save that for another time or as a treat, something like that, or split it. You might want to share that. In addition, you could have fruits such as grapefruit and a variety of fruits in the morning for breakfast. And if you have a cholesterol issue and you want to use something like egg beaters or another thing like Morningstar or an egg substitute or an egg white, certainly do that. And I recommend that you could actually use one egg and then a quarter of a cup of the egg substitute and make a giant omelet. And, if you, and in that case, you would put vegetables in it and then you would start out with your vegetable choices right away in the morning. Because nowadays, based on the food guide pyramids, what you want to start out with is you want to make sure your grocery list starts out with what vegetables and what fruits will you eat each day before you decide on anything else. So, what, so that's what a healthy breakfast would look like. Now before Erica takes you into what a healthy mid-morning snack would look like, here are some informative messages from the American Dietetic Association. Have you seen the news? When it comes to eating well and staying healthy, how can you separate facts from fiction and do what's right for you? Many life-threatening health conditions can be managed or even prevented through diet. You deserve the expert personalized guidance available only from a registered dietitian. An RD can cut through the clutter, give you facts, and tailor an eating plan that's right for you. A registered dietitian, the source you can trust. Welcome back to Eat Right New Hampshire. I'm Erica Mumford, a registered and licensed dietitian, continuing on with how to translate the food guide pyramid into everyday eating. Thanks, Chris, for going through breakfast. 